All right, real, real softball here. Favorite food? Probably, I'm a, a steak and potatoes guy. Mm. Nice filet mignon. Yeah. You been to Manny's? I have. We okay. took one of our <laughs> we took one of our free agents there. Okay. Won't tell you which one, but I can tell you they're now <laughs> Minnesota Vikings. So thank cool. you to Manny's. Next time you go, take me with you. Okay. Uh, favorite hobby outside of football? Uh, I do like playing pickup basketball. Okay. Uh, as as some exercise, and, and maybe I'll get out there. And, uh, you'll bump into me in the community. Just go easy on me if, if you're, you're guarding me because I don't move like I used to, but uh, I do like playing a little basketball. Three ball? You got, got the flick? Uh, I'm, 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 I'd like to say so, but I'm probably more of the, uh, I'm the role player now. The, you know, I'm setting screens, playing defense, calling out. I'm, 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 I'm talking probably more than I'm moving, to be honest with you, but that doesn't mean I can't put it in the basket. That's cool. We need those players yeah. too, yeah. Once again, give me a call when there you, you want to hit the court. I, uh, you know, go with you. <laughs> Favorite spot in the Twin Cities? Have you picked one yet? Oh man, outside of our facility, I, I would probably say, uh, you know, I've, I've enjoyed both going to a Timberwolves game and a Minnesota Wild game. I'd go back to those anytime uh, I can find the time to go. Uh, two great atmospheres, two uh, great places to go see, but still nothing like U.S. Bank Stadium. All right, that was a football answer. We'll <laughs> let it slide. Uh, favorite movie? You got one? But I'm going to go with Shawshank Redemption. Okay. I love that movie. A show that you watch with the kids that you probably wouldn't let the boys know about? With my wife, probably The, the Bachelorette. She, For she, real? She watches that, and I say that I hate watching it. I'm going to do a little work <laughs> while this is on, but I could tell you probably a little bit more than that that I would care to admit. <laughs> What's a favorite moment from the childhood? Uh, I got an opportunity on a very young basketball team to actually win uh, what they called the national championship. I don't know really what uh, that entailed, but we were nine years old and, and I was living in New Jersey at the time, but uh, we had collectively won a national championship. It, it felt like the Super Bowl to us at the time. Are right, you a San Diego guy? Uh, yeah, I moved to San Diego after Jersey. Yep, San okay. Diego guy. All right, real quick and be careful here. Yep. Beachfront, lakefront. Oh, oh. I will say lakefront. <laughs> <laughs> because you can do some ice fishing on a lakefront. You okay. can't do that beachfront. And even though the water, pe people don't understand this, how cold the water really is in California. It is, you know, very rarely does that water get to the point where you just go walking in that thing like you maybe do in the summertime in the lakes around, around Minnesota. And then, shoot, ice fishing and all the other ice hockey. You guys do a lot of stuff on the ice around here. So I think that's embracing the seasons. That's all that there is to be uh, looking forward to here in Minnesota. So you're embracing that or is that something you've done? Ice fishing, ice hockey? You I haven't done that yet, okay. but I would love to. Uh, point me in the direction, the best spot. I know there's a lot of options, so looking forward to that. All right, your dream matchup on the field. I would say uh, seeing Sean McVay on the other sideline uh, will be really, really cool and, and uh, try to use all all the tricks and, and, and tools that he, he taught me, try to use those against him to go to go beat those guys. So next year's NFC Championship game. Got That's it. Right. That's right. That's right. You told me your dad is your hero. Who's your football hero? I think Joe Montana, the way, uh, you know, the way I've now learned the position and learned the game, you go back and watch him play the position. Um, I, I got a lot of respect for, for how he played. Uh, maybe without the you know the elite level skill sets of arm strength and athleticism and all the things that we now look at as traits this guy just played the position uh was incredibly successful for a long period of time um so you got to go with the quarterback and if it's not going to be a fran tarkenton who was way more athletic than i was as a player randall cunningham could throw the ball obviously a heck of a lot further than i could i'll go with uh you know joe montana